What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here with your $600 second stimulus check update and $2,000 third stimulus check update as well as the third stimulus package that is coming out and related news. The impeachment is actually happening right now as of the time of recording. I have to record these videos a little bit before they go live and they're debating on the floor right now. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on new videos and give this video a like for us down below. It really helps out our channel and I appreciate your support. And let me show you uh, what is going on on the House floor right now. Thank you, Madam Speaker. You know, I didn't like the president's speech on January 6th either. I thought he was wrong to assert that the vice president in Congress can pick and choose which electoral votes to count. He was wrong to set such a confrontational tone in a politically tense situation. But what did he actually say? His exact words were, quote, I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard, unquote. That's impeachable? That's called freedom of speech. Now, he also threatened to oppose candidates in future elections. And by the way, that was directed at Republicans like me who'd resolved to uphold the constitutional process and protect the Electoral College. Well, so what? That's called politics. If we impeached every politician who gave a fiery speech to a crowd of partisans, this Capitol would be deserted. That's what the president did. That is all he did. He specifically told the crowd to protest peacefully and patriotically, and the vast majority of them did. But every movement has a lunatic fringe. Suppressing free speech is not the answer. Holding rioters accountable for their actions is the answer, and we are. And if we prosecuted BLM and Antifa rioters across the country with the same determination these last six months, this incident may not have happened at all. Now, short of declaring war, the power of impeachment is the most solemn and consequential act that Congress can take. To use it in this manner, in the heat of the moment, with no hearings, no due process, many members phoning in their votes after a hastily called debate exactly one week before a new president is to take office, trivializes this power to the point of caricature. So that is part of the debate going on right now in the U.S. House of Representatives. Democrats and Republicans are arguing. And I implore you to listen to exactly what President Donald Trump said uh, in his speech saying to uh go and march on the Capitol. We covered it in our second channel called The Daily Dirt. The thumbnail looks like this, where my wife actually hosted that video and shows exactly what President Donald Trump said. So you can make your own determining factor on whether or not you think he incited violence or anything like that. If you've watched that video, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. If not, I will link you to that video at the end of this video. Now, let's hear from Democratic Senate leader Chuck Schumer regarding everything that is going on. Now about the Senate trial. So Leader McConnell is saying he can't call the Senate back after the House votes for impeachment because it requires unanimous consent, the consent of every senator. That's not true. There was legislation passed in 2004 that allows the Senate minority leader and majority leader to jointly reconvene the Senate in times of emergency. This is a time of emergency. McConnell claims he needs unanimous consent, the agreement of all 100 senators, but it's not so. I've asked him to call the Senate back. All he needs is my agreement, I'm still minority leader, and his agreement, he's majority leader. And we could come back ASAP and vote to convict Donald Trump and get him out of office now before any further damage is done. The legislation that passed in 2004 puts a dagger through the heart 
of this idea that you need unanimous consent for every senator to call back the office. Now, that was right before Chuck Schumer was uh, interrupted by a heckler on the street, which I, I cannot show you on YouTube because they basically called him every word in the book that uh, is considered a bad word. Every, every single word you could think of, uh, they used against him. Now, what he's saying here is very interesting because the Senate is on a few day recess. And it's interesting what Mitch McConnell, what he's saying, Mitch McConnell is saying there, because Mitch McConnell is saying that they want to delay it and not call the Senate back to vote on the impeachment if it passes the U.S. House of Representatives because they're on recess. And to come back from recess normally would require every single person unanimously saying, OK, we'll come back. That's one of those things where if one person objects, then the motion fails. But Chuck Schumer is saying, well, that's not the case. They passed a law previously, over a decade ago, that says if the Senate Minority Leader and the Senate Majority Leader both consent to come back, then they can come back. Now, this is where it, this gets important here going forward, is that Chuck Schumer is still the Minority Leader, but will be taking over as the Majority Leader. The Majority Leader can solely bring back anybody, and that's why the um, Senate being lost by the Republicans and Mitch McConnell is going to be so important going forward for more stimulus checks and stimulus packages and pretty much every other bill because the Democrats will have control of this instead of the Republicans who have had it for the last several years. Mitch McConnell will no longer be the majority leader and he can't do things like table the $2,000 stimulus check bill that passed just last week in the U.S. House of Representatives, and Mitch McConnell decided that he didn't want to vote on it. He wanted the Georgia Senate elections to happen, and then now we have this impeachment process, and those got delayed. Had Mitch McConnell not delayed those, you'd probably be getting a $2,000 stimulus check in your bank account right now, along with the $600 stimulus checks that you are or may not be getting. On the $600 second stimulus check update and the $2,000 third stimulus check update, I'm still getting more and more reports on the $600 stimulus checks that people are still getting every single day right now. Let me know down below in the comments if you have gotten your $600 stimulus check in the last several days or if you're still waiting on it and what state you are from. There is a little bit of a debate going on right now that on January 15th, which is two days from now, that the IRS will not be able to send out any more stimulus checks by that time. So anything, stimulus checks and direct deposits, you know, all, all debit cards, all that good stuff. If they don't send it out by the 15th, there's a debate going on here that they're going to have to stop. And then anybody who hasn't gotten it will have to file it on their tax returns. Basically, they'll have to file a 2020 tax return and then get a rebate or a refund for the $600 stimulus check. Okay, so I'm hearing that, I'm seeing that, but I'm not sure if that's going to be what actually happens. Okay, so if you haven't gotten your stimulus check yet, I wouldn't panic yet. Go to the IRS, get my payment tool every morning and check it. I'm getting a lot of reports from you guys that are saying the IRS get my payment tool says that your check was sent out in the mail on January 6th and here it is the 13th and you haven't gotten yet. But I am also getting reports from a lot of people that saying they got their checks today, they got their checks yesterday, and then a lot of people who thought they weren't going to get their checks because their status says unavailable on the IRS get my payment tool. And at first there was a lot of talk that if that's if it said that on the tool, then you would have to claim it on your tax returns. You'd have to file a 2020 tax return, and then you would get your $600 in your tax refund or your tax rebate. And I told you guys, don't panic yet. They're still updating. Everything is going crazy right now. Their systems are on and off, and they're updating everything. And lo and behold, that's what happened. A lot of you guys said my status was unavailable, and then my check just showed up, either in your bank or in the mail, and your status still showed unavailable. So that is happening to a lot of people. The only place that you can get reliable information is the IRS Get My Payment tool. So if you haven't gotten your $600 stimulus check, 
I will keep you updated on this as well as you should be checking the IRS Get My Payment tool once per morning. It updates overnight and read our comments as a lot of guys have some helpful information on whether or not they're getting their check and when they're getting their check. A lot of the delays were from companies like H&R Block and TurboTax and Jackson Hewitt, and they are correcting those problems right now where basically um, those the money for H&R Block was went to H&R Block first, then H&R Block had to redirect that money to your account, and apparently the IRS sent it to a wrong account of theirs, and then they had to redirect it and basically try to figure everything out there. So that definitely has caused some delays. And this will be a kind of a good lesson or kind of good uh, data to know for the third stimulus check as when the third stimulus check will come out, $2,000 or $1,400 because these same situations could happen again for your third stimulus check. Also, a lot of people had their bank accounts and they switched their bank accounts and the money bounced back, and then now you're possibly waiting on the IRS to send you a check in the mail or debit card in the mail. That it will also happen for the third stimulus check. So if you're thinking about changing bank accounts right now, you might not want to because there's a third stimulus check coming out. And let me give you the latest news on that right now. A brand new report this morning says that ahead of Biden's stimulus rollout, Chuck Schumer promises quick action on expanding payments to $2,000 for the third stimulus check. As you can see here, Senate Democrats plan to prioritize a bill containing more stimulus relief, including an additional $1,400 payments to many Americans and money to accelerate vaccine development as their, quote, first order of legislative business when they assume control of the Senate chamber. The priorities, which Senator Chuck Schumer of New York, the incoming majority leader says, outlined in a letter to colleagues on Tuesday, echo many of the policies that President-elect Joe Biden has signaled he will officially unveil on Thursday in the third stimulus package. Chuck Schumer says, we have an opportunity to work with our House colleagues and a new administration to defeat the virus. Now, he probably should have said crush the virus there. I mean, come on, we got to keep our themes consistent here, right? And to provide the relief American people need and reunite this country. Chuck Schumer says that the immediate relief bill will contain the additional money on top of the $600 second stimulus payments Congress approved last month to fulfill the promise of $2,000 stimulus payments that Joe Biden made to voters in the Georgia runoff elections this month, quote, we will get that done. He also said it will contain money for vaccine distribution, schools, small businesses, and assistance for state and local governments, which will mean more money for rental assistance for you guys on the back end, which was left out of the last COVID package in a dispute with Republicans. Ultimately, that money for state and cities ended up getting you guys the $600 stimulus check because they took the money for states and cities and gave it to the American people as a $600 stimulus check. So ultimately, that was a good trade-off. Mr. Schumer said senators would also prepare broader legislation to address climate change, infrastructure, manufacturing, immigration, criminal justice, inequality, and elections. Democrats control the Senate by the narrowest of margin with a 50-50 split and Vice President Kamala Harris holding the ability to break any ties. Mr. Schumer says the Democrats will be working with Republicans on legislations, but, quote, if our Republican colleagues decide not to partner with us in our efforts to address these issues, we will not let that stop progress. Now, this is them already hinting at the filibuster rule, which requires 60 votes in the Senate. And they're basically already hinting at that if they don't get 60 votes on bills going forward, that they will use the reconciliation rule, which they can invoke only a certain amount of times per year per subject to pass bills with only 51 votes. Both Republicans and Democrats have done that in the past in the Senate. Also, late, late last night, I covered in, I think it was my 11 p.m. video, if you didn't see that, Republican Senator Marco Rubio sent a public letter out to Joe Biden 
asking for the $2,000 stimulus checks to be sent out immediately as a unity appeal to basically try to bring our nation somewhat back and, you know, bring us back from being divided and put, you know, us <laughs> somewhat together. This is a Republican senator asking this, Marco Rubio from Florida, basically asking Joe Biden to immediately pass the $2,000 stimulus checks and kind of take our eyes off of the impeachment ceremony and, God, can I even call that a ceremony? The impeachment process and basically get Americans back the help that we need. I mean, remember, we got the $600 second stimulus check but for many people, especially if you're, you know, just a single person or maybe two people in a household, that wasn't very much money, especially as we went nine months from the first stimulus check. Now, if you had a family of four or five, you had a family of five and you got three thousand dollars. That's a pretty decent amount to kind of tide you over while they work on the two thousand dollar stimulus checks. I also did a very interesting video about the two thousand dollar stimulus checks per month that is being pushed for also. Make sure you guys are subscribed down below so you don't miss out on new updates. Click the bell icon so you get notifications when we go live, which is typically at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and sometimes at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. This top video is the recent update about the $2,000 per month stimulus checks that could be coming out. And this bottom video is on our second channel, The Daily Dirt, where my wife hosted and shows you exactly what President Donald Trump said so you can make out your mind if he said something wrong or not. Click on one of those videos to watch them next. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.